Wait for it. Here it comes. Almost there. Welcome plungers. Thanks for pulling up and tapping in. So I'm back and I've gotten some work done. But before we get this episode started, I want to give a special shout out to my guy Zion. Your mother tells me that you are one of my biggest fans and this is your favorite program. Well, now I am so inspired to make the content just for you, my guy Zion. Thank you for watching. So we'll get back into it. Um, I've been out. I've been living here in this location and other than the, the size of it, all right, in uh, retrospect, I would definitely have moved this to the middle somewhere. Workshop in the middle would have been better instead of me having to run across this grand room just to get things started. Um, I'm really excited about this episode. I got a bunch of tames. This is uh, the Dino Sukis. He's the first of the, the breed, the clan, whatever, that I'm going to use for my battles. As you can see right there, 62,000 health. And uh, I'll get the melee damage up to 3,000 shortly, but... You could see that his health is, is low right now, not from even fighting, but from just me leveling up health. And those are his parents right there. And what they're doing is they are cranking out just nothing but hatchable eggs for me to just create this Dino Sukas army. I, I'm not really concerned with the color. Um, I decided on the, the green, the blue, over the red, and yeah, going with the green and the blue over the red, but uh, since this room is well lit, now matter of fact, let's run to the courtyard real quick, we'll do this outside, because I got some new dinos, oh well, let's not just act like there isn't a mammoth, a woolly rhino, a Diplodocus and a Stego just chilling here. You know, all very big. I want to get a Bronto and see how much of this space the Brontosaurus takes up. But let's run outside real quick because I got some special treats to show you real quick. All right, let's park him over here. Dino Sukis, he needs a name. He's going to be my daily driver. The main guy that I run around here with, I put some levels into his speed also, but he's gonna be my daily driver. Okay, so first, okay, no, no, let's 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 do this last. Okay, I got myself a couple of raptors because I wasn't happy. Oh wait a minute, that's not a raptor. That is Dolly. Let's get Dolly back in the cryo ball. Uh, yeah, it's the Raptor. So I got a couple of Raptors, nothing special other than to just breed so I can get some strength out of a smaller tame that I can ride, a smaller mount. Um, okay, the Bezel Buffo, I renamed it Shutterfly. Because I realized that it is female and Beetlejuice doesn't quite fit. And also, this is the tame I was using mostly to, to ferry myself from my workshop back into the main hall for the, the breeding process I was doing with these Dinosuchus. Just to keep things organized, I was pretty much just trying to keep things organized. Um. Yeah, so yeah, and I got this saddle, and if you're wondering where the green comes from, look very, very closely, and you will see it. So yeah. Then we have uh, the Sarko that I thought I'd lost, but I actually have the Sarko. Uh, juvenile Sabertooth, I mean... 
nothing really special about the saber too because i mean yeah, let's, let's throw it out anyway let's throw it out all right so we got this guy out girl yeah guy. i mean it's really nice and i got an all white one if i didn't destroy it i might have destroyed it I might have destroyed it by accident because I had a, a cryo fridge full of tames and I chose the option to release all and I thought what it would do is it would just exit them all from the cryo fridge to the area I was standing in. I mean, I, in retrospect, in hindsight, that might be a bit glitchy, but I, well, I wasn't thinking. So I released them all, and apparently they went into the wild somewhere, and I've done a couple of dino wipes since, so they're all pretty much gone. I had to get myself a Pulmonoscorpius. I mean, is that how? Pulmonoscorpius. Yeah, I did pronounce it right. What do you know? But I did find a saddle, and this was a pretty good level. Throw all of that into health. It was a pretty good level, and this this would also make a good ferry, a good shuttle tame. Let's see if he can go up these steps, because if he can, it's lit. Nope, he can't. So, yeah, it's still gonna be the Bezel Buffo, gonna be my main tame to to ride around. Okay, now. We're getting to the meat and the potatoes here. Okay, we've seen the Nothosaurus. I yeah, we, we just let's just get into it. let's just get into the mountain griffins already. Let's just get into them because while I'm very happy with Jill. I figured I could use more power. And some better colors so these are some of the ones i found out there in the wild now naturally naturally jill's bloodline is gonna have to be incorporated because i think she looks mostly like this one here but we definitely have to try to get some of these colors in also like if i can get the red with the blue, this red, that white, this blue, and that beak, well, this blue, this blue, that red, that beak, and these feet, or maybe even this beak. Now, now I want to actually go check out, because I did, I think I, I destroyed another griffin. I had another griffin, and I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Let's see. Yeah. So that other one is gone. So thank God she wasn't in the cryo fridge. Because that could have been really bad, and I could have yeah, we've had no griffins right now, so. So next, it's probably gonna be griffins. Oh yeah, and in that last episode, um, you did see me beat an alpha mosasaurus. Well, apparently I did not save that episode. I just exited the game, so that Mothosaurus was not tamed, and it's a good thing also because it is a good thing also because now I could use it to add some levels to this guy instead of pumping them into his grandparents as it would have been. So. 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna we'll hang on to the bezel buffo we'll get rid of all these griffins for now keep them safe keep them safe uh pulmonoscorpius we're gonna hang on to this now we're gonna get rid of the sarco saber tooth does not have get rid of the raptors yeah yep and that's what we're going with So yeah, let's, let's check out this guy and see what he can do. Now I don't like that he seems injured, but his health is like 23,000. It's crazy, right? He seems injured, but he's not injured in the least. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Had to make sure there was... I get, I get rid of the clouds. Like, you know, I like this game because you can play it the way you want to play it. So I got rid of those clouds. And now we're going to go find that Alpha Mothos, Mothosaurus. Mothosaurus. I don't know how to pronounce these dinosaur names, okay? But we're going to go try to find this Alpha. Because I did not do a dino wipe and it should still be in the world but yeah I love the base it it is very very practical oh yeah let's get this dunk 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 yeah that's one one hit of quitter right there And as you as I as you can see, I do have a lot of health, or a lot of points pumped into um, my own personal oxygen. Because I know this board is water heavy, and while we do like to have our scuba tanks, I didn't want to make it absolutely essential for me to have one to be competitive but I did level up some of the movement speed on this guy and uh, I mean if somebody comments a name and it, it doesn't violate the terms of services I'll probably use it but if not, I'm going to probably think of a name. Do it myself. What is this, Elite Sickus? It's not an alpha. I don't think so, but... Oh, Shastasaurus. I think I'm going to need one of those things, too. They have a special submarine attachment that you can put on a Shasta. So we're going to dig into that at some point. Maybe see if we can get a T-Rex into the ocean. But I'm looking for some alphas. Alpha anything at this point. Alpha anything at this point. Oh, that's... It's not an alpha, but I will take it. You are not doing a lot of damage at all. And one bite! One gigabyte, or whatever that bite is called, is enough. My goodness. This thing is very OP, and it does swim kind of fast without the sprint being on. I found the Mazasaurus. Do I have to go on land and kill something? I might be around the cave. I just saw some uh, frame rate issues. 
there might be a cave nearby. Uh, let's see how let's see how fast we deal with these things without the gigabyte. Plesiosaur, oh, that wasn't even a monosaurus. Or whatever it's called. Alright, let's get some oxygen. we could find under here before I freeze to death. Okay, it's a little bit warmer over here. Oh, looks like this goes deeper. Yeah, I don't want to go more than half my oxygen down. Oh, I think I discovered this cave already. Yes, I have. It's not a full cave, it's a dead end to that one, I believe. But at some point I will go explore it again. What is this going on here? What the? Okay, well, I definitely need some oxygen before I go down there. I might need some scuba equipment also. Let's grab some oxygen and then take one quick dive down and see if we can touch the bottom real quick. Let's see if it, it's more than half my oxygen down to the bottom. I definitely don't want to die. Wow. This might be the deepest the deepest part of the ocean right here. Is this a is this a damn cave? Nah, I don't think so. But it, it is very easy to get trapped in these caverns over here and not have a way to get back up if you don't have a scuba tank, which I don't. So I'm not going to tempt fate too much. We'll head back up to the surface. What is that there? Jellyfish? What is that pink thing there? It just might be just a reflection. Oh, no. It's some kind of flora. I'm just waiting for my guy's health to go up so I don't have this red vignette around my screen because it's, it's, it's annoying. Where are we headed? Which way are we headed? Okay, let's... Okay, we've maxed out our stamina, but we still got enough to get me to the surface so I don't die. Right now I'm cold. Oh, I was cold. I'm good now. Man, I wish there was more stuff for me to find down here. It's like this game seems almost completely devoid of life sometimes. And sometimes it's full. There's something right there, a Pryzeosaur. Might be the same ones that I just dealt with. Hey, buddy. Cause you're, oh, I got, I got both of them with that. Wow. I think that's at 30,000. For the, for that super bite thing. I have no idea what it's called. Yeah, I don't read it. I just look at the the red bar and see if it goes up to a place where I want it to. We might be near a cave. All 
Uh, I think this actually might be a cave. But let's not get too deep in here. Yeah, but let's definitely mark it on our map. Okay, something is happening. Something is happening. I'm being attacked by something. Let me finish doing this real quick. Except. Yeah. Before I run out of oxygen here. Oh, he's, he's out of stamp. That's the problem with this with this guy. It's the stam levels get really low. We did take quite a beating just now. They were, they were dealing with me. They were doing me dirty. Where am I at right now? Okay, let's, let's head to the crib. Let's head back home. We got some levels in this guy. I did not find the alpha mod, mod the sword. It was around here somewhere. It's definitely around here somewhere. Or an alpha beat sickness beat sickness sickness sickness. I gotta go look up the words, man. See how to pronounce them properly. What is that? What is that? That's his uh Shastasaurus, another one Shasta. So that didn't really give us much. But where are we? We head back to our base. That's where we're going. Ooh, is that? What is that over here? I'm not really keen on fighting any Zinfactinus right now. Maybe some uh, Alpha. Megalodons, no alphas. I haven't seen an alpha. And that's what I really want. I want a lead sickest or a Matosaurus. Even an alpha Pisiosaur would be cool. Not a level 12, because that's not fun. Yeah, I'm not finding any alphas under here, man. What is this? This is a very nice Dunkleo. Probably should have kept that to breed with the one I have. From what I understand, those things are extremely tanky. Oh, and I did build a couple of platforms on that tree right there. Where are my platforms? Is it that, that tree? It should be that tree. Is it attacking me? All right. Oh, here's the... Oh, no, those are a bunch of... Uh... Okay, let's get this. This still right here. All that oil. Don't want to leave that oil behind. All that oil is crucial. Oh, 
Capelagornis. I need the Pelagornis. I would actually really like the Pelagornis. Okay, it's time to get this, this guy home. I've been doing him a little bit dirty. And he's probably a little bit upset with me, so... Let's get him home so he could heal up properly, because... I definitely brought his levels down. Let's see. Yeah. It's, it's supposed to be going up to 60. But I'm still at 23, which means whatever up it went, I got it taken right back down to square one, basically where I was at when I started. But yeah, I love, I love watching this base render in completely. Yeah. I'm happy with this location. Very, very happy. I don't see a need to build another. However, I do need to go get some, uh, I gotta go check out my, uh, my, uh, my sap. My taps, my sap taps. Real quick before I let you let me go. It's definitely on that, that one right in the middle, that lighter one on that rock outcropping. That's definitely where I put two platforms. Two metal platforms. And I put the, the sap taps on the topmost platform. And I'm probably going to build in the redwoods also. Because this is a biome that I'd like to have some control of. It's definitely a scary biome for the thylas alone, the scariest things. And I got to come out here for some, for at least a jumping spider or find one in a cave or something. But I want to get a jumping spider because they can scale walls and stuff. And that would be exactly what I'm going for. Oh, there, there are the platforms. I guess you can't see things if you do your spyglass if you are out of render distance, even though you are bringing whatever it is into render distance. I don't know. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay. 20. So I should leave here with 80 of them. Okay, good. Because I need to make some veggie cakes. I mean, I, I'm assuming that veggie cakes are the kibble to the, uh, to the herbivores. So, yeah. But that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one. Maybe we'll stay out here a little while, build up, see what happens. Anyway, thanks for tapping in, guys. Peace.